let's perform the first test that is boolean test let me give the proper name I will say boolean test is equal to what I will do in my first test I will set a variable 1 as greater than 10 and variable 2 I will set as less than 10 because our condition our condition says that one or the other but not both together should be greater than 10 so we, we are performing the first test that is in first test we we kept variable 1 as greater than 10 and variable 2 less than 10 if the condition satisfies this boolean test will automatically will set it to true okay now if this variable that is boolean test variable is true is true then display the result so display the result I will use console dot right line display the condition that is the condition is true because the variable 1 is greater than 10 and variable 2 is less than 10 it satisfies our condition also because our condition says one or the other but not both variables are greater than 10 so here variable 1 is greater than 10 and variable 2 is less than 10 if the variable 1 is greater than 10 and if the variable 2 is less than 10 then only it will display this condition that is condition is true variable 1 is greater than 10 and variable 2 is less than 10 so let's give the name as first test we have done our first test now let's perform the second test second test second test mm -hmm. is just a uh, reverse of this condition I will set variable 1 as less than 10 and variable 2 is greater than 10 because our condition says one or the other but not both variables are greater than 10 if this condition satisfies then boolean test will set it to true I if the boolean test is set it to true then the condition is true our condition is true that means variable 2 is less than 10 and variable 2 is greater than 10 now let's go and perform the third test that is if in case variable 1 is greater than 10 and at the same time variable 2 is also greater than 10 if suppose the inputted value from the keyboard is greater than 10 for variable 1 and variable 2 is also greater than 10 then the boolean test is by default is going to set it to true but the condition is false because our condition says one or the other but not both together should be greater than 10 so the condition is false here so what we will do in, in our display result we will say condition is false because variable 1 and variable 2 both are greater than 10 
now coming to condition fourth test fourth, fourth test is it's pretty simple it is the reverse of third test that is if the variable 1 is less than 10 and variable 2 is also less than 10 in case this happens then our condition is false because the our 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 condition says the both the both should not be greater than 10 and both should not be less than 10 one or the other should be greater than 10 so condition is false because variable 1 is less than 10 and variable 2 is less than 10 so we have displayed the results also so this is the fourth test first test says if the variable 1 is greater than 10 and if the variable 2 is less than 10 our condition is also satisfies is it means we have displayed the result as condition is true now coming to the second number test if the variable 1 is less than 10 and if the variable 2 is greater than 10 our condition is also true so it means we can display the results as condition is true third test in case if the both the variables are greater than 10 the boolean test is by default is going to set it to true but our condition is false because our condition says one or the other but not both variables should be greater than 10 for test if the two variable in case is less than 10 then condition is fails so I set it to condition is false because both the variables are less than 10 now what we will do we will run this application so it means we have completed the three steps that is performing a boolean test taking the input numbers from the keyboard that for variable 1 and variable 2 and we have created the C sharp console application we have done with all the three steps now the last step remaining is to run an application to see the output so I will just build this build is succeeded now to run this application I will say control F5 enter the first variable number I will say 12 and the second variable number 2 so condition is true because variable 1 is greater than 10 and variable 2 is less than 10 it means we have performed our first test here see this is our first test which we have performed now let's do and see the second test let's perform our second test the first variable should be less than 10 so I will put 2 as my first variable second variable I will put as 15 so condition is true because variable 1 is less than 10 and variable 2 is greater than 10 so now let's go and perform the third test both variables should be greater than 10 so I will say 12 12 condition is false because variable 1 is greater than 10 and variable 2 is greater than 10 let's go and perform the fourth test both variables should be less than 10 so I will say 5 2 condition is false because variable 1 is less than 10 and variable 2 is less than 10 let's summarize again so what we did today we did the practical number 2 to perform a boolean test to perform a comparison test for one or the other but not two variables should be greater than 10 so for that we created the four step procedure that is step number one we have created the simple c-sharp application a, a simple c-sharp console project step number two we have taken the input numbers for variable one and variable two from the keyboard respectively step number three we have performed the boolean test for that boolean test we did the four test procedure and finally step number four we have successfully executed our application so if you have any routes and any queries 
regarding the practical number two you can mail me that is guru matrix 2004 at the rate gmail.com you can also visit our website that is www.bscmscit.com thank you